Hello and welcome to a nice chilly day here in Montana. Uh, about uh, 20 degrees this morning, that's Fahrenheit. But anyway, I need to do this video. Uh, I just feel like I need to do it because I've done a couple videos now on the silicone sluice box mats. And I just got to know if they're really going to work. So, if a guy, can a guy really just take so uh, his skill saw, cut some grooves in a board, and you know, make some molds out of silicone and Dawn dish soap, and will they really catch gold? I mean, really? I mean, I did uh, a video making them, and showed how I did that, and I did a video just to see if they would work at all. So I went ahead and and it worked good. I mean, we caught a few garnets and a little bit of gold. So what I'm doing today is I finished off my sluice box mat. I've added uh, four different profiles in here. Um, one other thing I did is on my molds, uh, I see this with a lot of other mats that you can buy. Um, it's real smooth. The, the mats are so you're, you're dependent on the riffles to catch the gold. So what I did is I took a wire brush and just scored the top of my mats here or my molds which gave the mat a real rough texture um, I think that's really going to help at catching the gold uh, maybe maybe not we'll see but anyway that's my theory so what I've got here today is some Home Depot sand let me get this over here and we're going to add a bunch of gold to it. There's my Home Depot sand, about a half a bucket there. And here's the gold we're going to add in. There's a couple nuggets in there. That's probably two grams of gold and some real fines. Chunky stuff and fines. So we're going to add this to the Home Depot dirt. And mix it all around in here real good. Somebody suggested using lead shot, but uh, I think gold's a better option. This is the real stuff. There, that should do it. Well, I'll get this thing fired up. And we'll see if we can catch some gold. Okay, we're up and running. I got one scoop in. So far, so good. Ah, uh, there might be a little gold in this Home Depot sand, but we'll just add it to the pot if we can't end up catching the gold. Staying active, working good. No, I just got to do this because I don't want to lead anybody down the wrong path or give wrong information on these things. Uh, we just got to find out if they really do work and we'll catch the gold. I don't want to get halfway in and you know, and then all of a sudden, oh, well, they don't work that good, so that's no good. They're not loading up at all. I am running my 2,000 gallon an hour pump, in case you want to know. Oh, there's one nugget right there, sitting in the second riffle. Let's see if it stays there. 
One thing I do like about the mats, uh, really, is how they lay in the sluice box. They're pretty heavy. You don't have to worry about them coming off or, you know, moving around on you. If this works out, I'll just say I've got an idea for a uh, drop riffle sluice that I want to try. Um, in fact, I've got one mat in here for that, and I'll show it to you here in a bit. Probably, I just wanted to see how it was going to run. So I'm thinking a drop riffle sluice would be pretty cool, made out of silicone. Okay, I said I was working on a design or a mat for a drop riffle sluice. Um, I like what I'm seeing. Let me get a little dirt in here. I think that's pretty cool. No, it's not exact. But for a try, I like the way it's working. Since it's being at the bottom of the mat, I got a little bit of an issue here, but I'm looking at the mat here and what it's doing. Um, I think that's going to work good. I'll let you try and guess at this point how I made that. Uh, there's going to be a lot different designs. I am going to try it, of course, if this test works. But uh, I like the way that's looking. Might be a good idea for a drop riffle sluice mat. The a drop riffle sluice, uh, I want one to add an extension onto my sluice box for summertime. Been wanting one for a while now. I know the retrap sluice is off the market, but I'll have to see if we can just make one. That would be pretty cool, I think. Okay, we're done running our bucket of dirt. Uh, I do like what I see. There's one of the nuggets there. There's another piece of gold there. So I'm seeing some gold in there. Awesome. Well, we'll get this cleaned up and we will see. Oh, that's gold. Cleans out good. Cleans out really good. Give me a dish soap. Oh, this is going to be chilly. Here's the concentrates. And then I'll have to check the tailing. I liked what I saw in the concentrate pan, but we got to check some of these tailings. And I had to go in the house to finish panning. It's a little makes it a little interesting when uh, <laughs> there's ice forming in your pan as you're trying to pan it. That makes it a little interesting. So we'll go ahead and check some of these tailings. See if we lost any gold. Okay, did we catch the gold? Well, I would say so. I couldn't be happier. 
There's the gold we got back, plus a garnet. Got a little bit out of the glare. We got the nuggets back, all the way down to the super fines, and that one garnet there. Um, <laughs> there was, it's starting to ice up on me. I don't, you can't see it because I can hardly see it with my eyes, but there was like, I don't know, four or five little teeny tiny specks. And we're talking minus 200 in there uh, in the tailings. So I couldn't be happier with the way the sluice box mats worked. So now I know I'm not wasting my time and money and other people's time and money. Because I know some other people are, you know, attempting to make some of these. So I couldn't be happy or with the results. So now I think I'll continue on with the drop riffle sluice. Probably be next week or sometime. But if you can guess what I made that out of, let me know. And you'll know soon enough I'll make the video. So I got a plan for that. So anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And we will catch you next time. Bye now.